Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I am having a bit of a ring pour extravaganza obsession, whatever you want to call it. In any case, I see that water in the bottom. I don't want that water in the bottom. I'm going to clean that water out of the bottom. And I want to do a red and gold or an orange and gold, I should say and black, assuming I have enough black left in there, or I'm going to leave that on its side. I've got a bunch of different orange colors, assuming they'll come out, which I cannot assume even when I just cleared that tip, and they did. It's still being hard to get along with. Okay, fine. Be that way. I guess we'll have a whole bunch of that color. <laughs> that particular bottle has got a funky thread on it and it's being an, a problem. Okay, so I have, this is not my gold mica powder because I'm outside and it's hot and I believe that it makes everything very runny. So I'm not using that right now. I have to think about purple or not. I was thinking about it, but I think I've decided against it. I am going to go back to black and I'm going to try get some white in there. Oh really? Okay well it's trouble with bottles moment again and I just fill that up And I really want that to come out of there, but I have some Anita's white metallic <laughs> and that's not coming out either. Okay, hot days, clog tips. So let's just, um, what will we do? We'll use a different color. I wish I had my larger bottle of white out here. I really want to find out what's in that tip. So you're going to have to bear with me for a minute. Oh, that was big, right? Not having that in there will be a really nice thing. Not even sure how half this stuff gets in there, but it's got to all form around Floatrol, I suspect. I have a couple different color oranges. I said that already. A couple few. Strangely enough, I like that. That's a, such a dark gold. I'm so not used to that. I had more. I had not enough paint my first ring pour today. Way too much paint my second ring pour today. And I'm hoping that this will be third time's a charm. And if it seems like too much, if I'm a good guesser, then maybe, just maybe... I'll be able to stop, and if I have some extra, I'll just do something else. So I like all of that. I want some more of this. And I'm certainly interested in ending with gold, but i got to be careful not to grab the mica powder. And I think that looks like plenty of paint to start with, and if it's not, I've got paint and squeeze bottles, so we're all good with that. And that took me a while to do. So last time I tried like six ring pours. The first time I tried one. So I'm going to do the one again. And I'm really trying to learn how to limit my color palette, but I'm not good at it. And that's the polite version of that. Uh, no matter how gold, dark gold this is, it does usually dry shiny. So I have some hope. Quite a bit of paint in there that I could scrape down with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, and I think I will. And I'm pretty sure if I can't make it to the edges with this, that'd be a surprise to me because it really looks like plenty of paint. It was about a third of a cup, maybe more. I like that yellow in the center there. 
would normally just go ahead and add some more, but I think what I've got is probably a good start. That's going in the bucket. Well, maybe it's going in the bucket after I get a little more paint off it. Should have used the round bottom spatula. All right, into the bucket. I keep two of the square and spatulas from Princeton just so when I use one up. I do not know what this is going to look like. But I did grab an edge catcher. Not that I know where it is right at this exact second. So when I get to the point, I think more black would have been a good thing. And at least the gold is not showing itself to be super liquid like the mica powder gold was. Which would probably be fine indoors. I don't know why it's like that. I am going to do my very best to give myself a complete shot at making an actual ring pour this time. It does look like I have so much extra paint that I might want to pour some off into something or other. What would be something or other? Ha! Maybe that edge catcher right there is something or other. My first painting today was a black and white ring pour, and I love where the designs took it as I tipped it all over the place. It was fantastic. I love it. The next one was gold and white and black, and there just wound up being so much too much paint. I do love using the edge catchers with the ring pours and being able to pour the paint off and then back on again. And I'm more than tempted to do that right now. I think it's a necessity. Oh, but I need short. There we go. I got what I need now. Cool. Very cool. So, let's just make that. Oh, I see that thing that does not belong. Goodbye thing. Okay. So, I'm going all the way over there. To let everything pool, hopefully without running down my arm, and throw it right back into the canvas, tipping my edge catcher to cover the edge, and remembering that I can, wow, that was weird, huh? That was surprising, too. I want to go back down again. What will we get? I think we're going to go all over the place. Because I can. That is the name of my book on the Amazon link. Underneath the video. Yes, I do love throwing the paint back onto the canvas. I don't think I'll ever get bored with that. I would like to be able to balance this edge catcher and cover my canvas. Paint is moving nice and fast for me today. I'm going to go all the way over there for right now. Caution. Do I have any such thing as caution? I don't know. I'm going to try and control my paint flow. All the way down. Rock my edge catcher and throw the paint right back onto the canvas. Makes for very interesting things happening. Now the question is, what else do I want to do? And I really want this to come back down again. And that's okay with me, especially since I would like to use all of the paint on my edge catcher, which is working out beautifully, I gotta say. Right down that edge, right off my edge catcher, scraped right back up onto the canvas. Surprise, surprise, that worked really well. What now? Huh, do I want to put some black in here and then watch it run in? Or it will it, it'll make everything else run? I don't know, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing, except for that little bug, goodbye little bug. Um, yes, I did, <laughs> I just did that. Ooh, where's that? plug that was in my white. 
So I'm not sure I like that. So being that it's me and I'm making some brown and I've been craving pouring. Yeah, I'm just going to give myself permission. And then if I want it back again, it's right there on the edge catcher. But in the meantime, that's pretty cool. And now I have the paint I want to use available to me. Right here. It's a bit messy today. I'm not usually this messy, but okay. Sometimes, you know what happens. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to take my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula and I'm going to run it right up that edge catcher and pull the beautiful patterns right off it. Put them right back down into the artwork where they blend perfectly. And then I'm going to rinse that off because there's a lot of paint on there. I don't need it to be there, and half of it's on me, and it needs to go away. Not only that, it's on that spatula too, and it's my, my backup spatula. It's a painty day. So that's pretty cool. What else, what else do I want to do? Anything? I think you guys might have the better, the better image of that. I kind of want all of it to come down the other way. And I guess that means... That if I want that to happen, I'm going to have to let it happen any old way it wants to, which includes that, which is me pouring stuff off. Oh well, I don't do it very often. I'm not unhappy doing it right now. I got all kinds of beautiful red paint. Do I want to use any of it? kind of do. kind of want to use it right there. I'm going to just pull it a little bit. And I think I like my composition. I mean, I'd really like to add some black, but um, I'm going to give myself a quick rinse again. And then I got some really intense cleanup to do right after I torch to release the bubbles and tell you guys what I always tell you. Ooh, wait, I see over there I lost some paint. Let me check my edges. Actually, they look pretty good and I have plenty of paint to touch them up with if I want. Let's spin this around once and make sure I'm correct. Yes, well if you've got to get brown it should be very gold brown. I like that. I'm gonna have to pull it up pretty quick before, oh I see something A little bit of canvas was showing. Don't mind any of that. I've got all kinds of other cool stuff. Just aching to join in if I need it. And uh, not the least bit worried about using it up. I'm going to have to clean off my silicone pad. Anyway, back to the uh, torching at hand, which may... Yes, I see it. It may release some uh, some patterns, some cells. I use GAC 800 in my mix. It's an additive that's a pouring medium that's meant to keep paint from cracking. It's by Golden, in the United States at least. I torch to release the bubbles in the paint from shaking up the paint. This looks just like an agate I used to have as a kid. Just like it. I don't know if it was artificially colored or not, but I love the colors. They're very cool. Part of me really just wants to add a bunch of black in there, but um, I'm going to resist because I actually like this a lot. I'm surprised I got none of my yellow is showing. Plenty of gold, but none of yellow. That's strange. So if you shot my Amazon link under the video, you will help me out at no added cost to you. Oh my God, there's a lot of paint. And uh, there's Pinterest and Instagram and a paint pouring recipe underneath the video. And at the very last 20 seconds of this video, you'll find end screens that will share with you my website and also 
uh, 600 other videos. If you want to be of assistance to me, I take uh, donations through PayPal and Patreon. And I do, I really do. I want to add some black. Um, and that will automatically get you into a contest that runs every month where one of my paintings or where you get to pick one of my paintings and uh, yeah, I like the black. I don't want a lot of it, but I want a little bit of it. Yes, I'm good with that. Anyway, where was I? PayPal, Patreon, and donations get you a painting if your name is drawn. It's just a bamboo skewer and a little black. Where else? I just need that little bit of black. To call it mine. I forgot I torched. Duh. Well, that's still cool. It's not making too much of a puckery mess. A little bit. It'll, it'll straighten out in a minute. I'm good with that. Maybe just a little bit more over here. can tell where I didn't torch as well. So yes, I like how the eye moves around now that I've added that. I got some nice thick paint in here. I do give lessons at the house in the studio in Spring Hill. I do sell my artwork if you want to get in touch with me other than asking a question, although you can ask questions and I'll get back to you on YouTube about lessons and about anything basically, about buying artworks too. and. Uh, I love you guys. There's 60,000 of you. Please, 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 I'm asking you please to give me a thumbs up. It helps the placement of my videos. YouTube algorithm places everybody's videos via how much time people spend watching the videos and then how many times they get a thumbs up. So if you do either one of those things, you're a huge assistance to me and I really appreciate you for doing so. Thank you so much for your time and I, uh, I really appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you all for keeping me painting as long as I have been. And uh, I hope you decide that it would be cool to donate because I could use some help. But other than that, if you just give me a thumbs up and watch the videos, I'll be in good shape eventually. Someday. Maybe. I hope. As long as there's no car repairs. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Um, all right. So that's that. And I'm going to be gone in a second. Forgive me for my belligerence. And I love you guys. I think I told you that before. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And yes, I did. I had some black because I wanted to. And don't forget about my book called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link. Also the place to find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. And should you still be interested in some gold mica powder and the recipe, just ask me about that. And I will help you out. All right. I love you guys. I said that before. But... I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Watch some more videos, please. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm so redundant.